Lodi Electric says it received an order from the Northern California Power Agency to cut power at 6 o'clock last night. Cal ISO says it was a mistake and never made that call. And now Lodi residents are left in the dark wondering why they had no electricity. In the Lodi West area, Rocio Contreras saw her neighbor waving from across the street in the record-breaking heat wave. Our neighbor wasn't able to open her garage, so my husband had to go and help her because, you know, the door was stuck. So, and she's kind of disabled, so it was kind of hard. That's when Contreras found out the whole neighborhood lost power, but she thought it was a rolling blackout and found it odd Lodi Electric didn't give them a warning. My son, he has asthma and usually sometimes he needs the nebulizer, you know, the machine, so I have to be alert. For sure. It wasn't until we told her the blackouts affecting nearly 1,400 people in Lodi weren't supposed to happen. The city of Lodi called the Tuesday night hour long load shed quote in error. I was shocked. That's a big mistake. That's not to be taken lightly. June Aker worried about her aging parents in their 80s without power in the Park West neighborhood. People need to be held accountable, and I'm so tired of no accountability. The Northern California Power Agency says the dispatcher mistook the blackout standby alert from Cal ISO for the real thing. It said in a statement, our dispatcher contacted Cal ISO to inform them that the curtailment action had been undertaken and was then notified there had been a misunderstanding of the initial order. The general manager suggests, while inadvertent, the dispatcher's action helped to ultimately benefit and keep the overall grid stable through the most extreme heat of the day and a record load. Still, residents say it's a mistake that shouldn't happen during dangerous times. It could have been a very costly mistake. It just, yeah, it really concerns me. In Lodi, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Now, both Cal ISO and the NCPA are conducting internal investigations. They're reviewing the communication procedures to ensure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again.